Hello, and welcome back to the Pleasant Hill Hounds channel. We are crafty puppy interrupted channel coming to you from Central Connecticut. I'm your human host, Gabby. You can find me everywhere online as Gabigales and all my hand eyed yarn at Pleasant Hell Hounds and PleasantHellHounds.com. Welcome back to a project recap update for the end of November. I had big dreams of doing November again this year. I have finished one outfit. I have started a second one and just the month got away from me and here we are november 24th as i record this so november is not a thing this year but i will continue the projects and when i get the videos edited and posted i will just post them as regular videos so <laughs> oops but as i said this is going to be a project recap update on what I've been knitting and that's pretty much it. I haven't really been doing any other crafting, no spinning, no embroidery, no cross stitch, nothing. Not a lot of knitting either. I have made some progress on a lot of stuff. So I have my coffee. I have two very sleepy puppies with me today and we're in the living room again. I think this wall is going to be a good one until we put the Christmas tree here and then I have to figure out yet another backdrop. Love it love this so yeah bud let's uh let's just get into it i think we'll start smallest to largest so first off i have some socks cast on that i've actively been working on i do have a couple socks that are just when we go to the movies those are the socks that i grab so you probably won't see them until they're finished objects but i have from my indian tangle to purchase for this year the threshing colorway from Geektastics. I don't think I've made a lot of progress since I showed you last. Maybe I might have just finished the cuff, but I've got my gobstopper here. I love this. This sits on my desk and I work on it while I'm waiting for things to load, watching YouTube videos, answering phone calls, that kind of thing. So they are just kind of like, they don't even have a project bag. They literally just sit on my desk like this. I'm afraid I'm gonna light something on fire because I wanted the mood, so I lit a candle on. So yeah, they don't even have a project bag. They just sit on my desk and I'm thoroughly enjoying. It is, I think her Targi nylon base, I have no idea where the tag is, not a clue. Don't remember what I bought, but I am doing 64 stitches on a US1 Haya Haya Sharp, my regular go-to sock numbers and needle pairing. Uh, I did a one by one rib for the sock and I'm gonna just go. I might do an afterthought heel, have not decided. Um, I might do a fish lips kiss heel. It depends on when I get to the heel and what I'm working on at that point. You'll find out when I find out basically. So that is project number one that I've been working on. Project number two is also a sock and this one has a bag. It's in my matter root uh, plaid with the wax canvas bottom. And this I also bought at Rhinebeck this year. This is the Bumblebee Acres um, Pisces colorway. I think I had, I don't know if I showed this in the Rhinebeck recap or if I like just had the cuff cast on, but same number, US ones, high, high sharps, 64 stitches, and I'm doing the Hermione's Everyday sock with this one. And this is a Superwash Merino silk blend, I think. Oh, I actually do have the tag. Yeah, 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Silk, fingering weight, two ply from their astrology collection. So this is also just a pickup whenever, so far it's just been like when we go over friends' houses, this is what I work on because it's a little bit more interesting than a vanilla sock, but not so complicated that I need the pattern or to pay attention too hard to it. So those are my socks, slow but steady. I do need to like go through my sock chest and weed out some older ones that are like felted and worn through or just like lost all elasticity and just kind of, I, I take a lot of them and I turn them into like dusting rags because you can put them on your hands and like dust the blinds. So I do need to go through and do that with some of my socks and then knit myself some more socks to replace them. This might be a very quick, video we'll see on to shawls i have not done a lick of this i have not worked on this and i really don't know why i don't 
really have knitting mojo at this moment. I have been just focusing on work, trying to get all the advents out and preparing for Thanksgiving in the US, which was a, th just, you know, is Thanksgiving. So I just haven't had like the brain space to do a lot of crafting. So I have not worked on this and I'm almost at the part that I'm really excited for. And this is my Salt and Timber shawl by Lindsay Fowler from her book Salt and Timber in my Platinum Palladium colorway on my iron base. Here she is. She's pretty scrunched. There we go. And I have, she breaks each section down into like the tree circles, the mountains. And I just, oh, what am I stuck on? I just entered like the tree shape of the shawl. So I don't know why I stopped where I did, but I now have to find my row counter and see where I am in the pattern. But I really want this shawl. I'm so, I haven't knit a shawl in so long. And like, I love knitting with tweed so much. I have so many things I want to cast on in it. And I've got my little pumpkin stitch marker. I don't remember where I got this from. I'm sure someone will tell me. Simply serving maybe? I have no idea. Ooh, sorry. But yeah, I have not touched this in a hot minute and it makes me so sad. I don't even know what's in this bag anymore. I do have another cake of yarn. That probably shouldn't be in here. This is not for the shawl. This is for socks. And needle. I have a lot of needles. Maybe this is where all my needles went. All right, well, you girls got to do a clean out one day. Oh, I have a lotion bar in here too. Okay, yeah, this is my plate bag. I got this at Knit New Haven uh, last year. I think last year. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff. I got some needles. I got needle stoppers. I got a progress keeper. I got lotion. I got more needles. I need to clean out my project bags. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I have not worked on it. That's the needles I'm using. So I'm gonna put all that back in this bag so I don't put them somewhere else and lose them forever. On to sweaters. I have been putting a lot of work into sweaters recently. First off, what I'm most excited for is my work study. This is also by Lindsay Fowler. She designed this using our Revival DK base and it came out the weekend of Rhinebeck. And I'm doing the exact same color combo as she did. And last time you saw it, it was just like a wee little worm. And now we have a body and a sleeve. I just finished the color work on the sleeve. So it is just round and round forever at this point. I've got my little boo stitch marker on there from Sassafras. And yeah, I think I'm doing a size four. I thought I cast on a size one. And then I convinced myself that I cast on a size two and then I counted the stitches and I have exactly the right amount for a size four. She knit a size three. So I'm going to knit this. I'm going to finish this, block it, see how I feel because I do want this to be like big and oversized and lovely and squishy. But I think I might have cast on too big of a size. It might be too oversized, but it's also cropped. So it's too short to give to J. I don't know what I was thinking. I, you, is anyone surprised? Absolutely not. I have no idea what was going through my head. I wanted this to fit like my good bones, but I think it's bigger than my good bones. That's not the sweater. What is it? I wanted this to fit like my double date sweater. So I don't know. I have no idea what my thinking or plan was, but here we are. I'm still loving this so much. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. Ugh. It's just, you know, I just gotta, I just gotta work on it. I think I got a little too sad about not knowing what size I was actually doing and if I cast on the wrong size. So like, I didn't want to work on it for a little bit, but I'm over it. I just want the sweater. I want this sweater so bad. Sorry, there's like a piece of hay and I have to get that. Okay, yeah, I just, I really want this. My goal is to finish this by Christmas. Will it be my Christmas sweater? I don't know. I kind of just don't wanna, I just wanna wear, I just wanna wear pajamas all Christmas anyway because I don't wanna. So it might be my Christmas sweater. I don't know, I have not decided. I will have this done by the solstice. That is my goal. 
and it barely fits in my matter root bag. It is a big boy. But I also have all the yarn in here too, like for the entire sweater. So it does technically fit. It doesn't close very well. And the last sweater is living in um, my Taylor Swift popcorn bucket that I got at the movie theater. This is the Duplo sweater by Sungi Hong. I hope I'm saying that right. And I am obsessed. This is a raglan, rude, raglan style pullover, top down construction. And she uses two, she has a bunch of recipes, but two, you hold two fingering weight strands and a mohair strand together, or you can hold like one DK weight and a mohair strand together. Ooh, sorry. And just real quick, here's the sweater. And then I will tell you what colors I'm using. I spent like half a day with my friends trying to decide on the color combo. So I do need to do like an Instagram post of like all the color combos I did not pick because I need somebody to knit all of them. I am using Never Trust a Prince in my fig lace for the mohair, which is like a purpley gray with like specks of red and orange. Another tweed my albumin color on my iron tweed base so just like a warm like copper brown ready undertones like clay almost and then a classic like my cold dead heart on my selkie base so just pinks purples reds blacks grays everything so i'm holding all of these double together i'm holding them all together <laughs> like so and also hence why i'm using the popcorn bucket because it's just easier for the yarn to just sort of do what it needs to in this and also i just wanted to put something in here because i went to go see the movie twice obviously listen <laughs> i am surviving off every tiny bit of serotonin i can find at this point i am knitting a size one so i think it's like a 35 inch chest for the finished garment on us 10s i'm using my knit pro zings and i split for the split the sleeves off yesterday and i am so excited for this sweater i love it so much i just this is also what's taking away from me finishing the work study but i'm not that mad i'm going to be using the fall frolic that I'm wearing today as my length guide. So if I wear this like over a dress, it's still gonna cut me at like my natural waist, but it's, go it's going to be long enough to tuck into skirts or pants or whatever I'm wearing at that point because you know, it's only taken me 33 years to figure out how to style clothes on my body. Oh God, I'm just so excited for this. I'm so excited for this sweater. Just look at her. And the directions have been great to follow. The raglan increases just look so nice. And she's got uh, like a side seam detail that's happening. I love it. I love it so much. See, there's the phone. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for this. And that, you know, it kind of matches my <laughs> bucket. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, that is what I have been working on. Again, it's not been a ton. My knit Joe has not really been there. It's mostly just been like re-watching Sims YouTubers and staring at the ceiling uh, while working situation. So like I also haven't really, I haven't worked on the Animal Crossing Island. I've abandoned Stardew. Ugh. I kind of picked up Dreamly Valley again for a little bit, but not really. And sort of reading, I will talk about books because I feel like if I just keep talking about it, maybe I'll guilt trip myself into finishing them. We'll see. I do want to read them. I just don't have like the capacity to sit down and read. I re-upped my scribed account, which is where I get all my audiobooks. It's like 11 bucks a month and you basically just get unlimited ebooks, audiobooks, podcasts, uh, articles, like that kind of thing. I do have an affiliate link down below. And I love it. I love it for audiobooks so much. It's kind of like a library. Like you don't keep them, but you can download them. And as long as you have the app, you're good. But it's not like 
Audible where like you pay a monthly thing and then you also have to buy the books or like use up your credits. So I re-upped that in hopes that I can get back into my Contemporary Witch comfort reads. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I am currently reading Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. I'm here for a good time. That's it. Like, this thing could go through a couple more rounds of edits, I will say that. Um, I don't like, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm really picky with my fantasy series. So like when they use like contemporary slang or like there's a, oh, there's always a couple lines where like somebody broke his nose and then he was like bleeding on the floor because he had a broken nose and then the narrator just went gross period. Like I don't like, when that takes me out of the book, I don't like that. But you know. I'm having a good time. There's dragons, there's romance, there's a war that a bunch of basically teenagers have to solve. So I'm here for that. I'm so close to finishing this book. That's where I'm at. Um, I just haven't sat down to do it. I'm on chapter 55. We're so close. I'm also really nervous because this is supposed to be like a five book series and I don't, I don't, I don't want another from Blood and Ash situation to happen. It, it's a three-year college. Make it a trilogy. Books don't need to be a thousand books long. But that's my complaint. That's it. I do love, oh, I, I, can, <laughs> I went book shopping too. I have to get another one. Okay, so that's what I'm currently reading. And then what's up next is the book for uh, over on Patreon. We do a quarterly book club. And this quarter is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. Mandana? Mandana? I just want to make sure I'm putting all the right ends in there. Um, it is, you know, a contemporary witch book. You know I love this. I did get this from the library and it is due December 6th, so I have to finish it before that date so I can bring it back. I'm very excited for this. This is going to take me like two and a half days to read because it's a little baby boy and I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for this. I need a cozy witch read, I think. That will get me, I think, through like the hurdle of reading again. I've only read 16 books this year, which is a good amount. Nowhere near as much as I read last year or the year before. It's not been a normal year. So let me go get the other book that I picked up. And I guess uh, this is going to be my my 2024 book plans. I don't know. I also picked up Myrta by Christopher Polini. Polini? Paolini? I don't know. I read... So the this is the fifth book in a series, even though I just got a fifth book series. Uh, book one in the series is Aragon, and that came out years ago. I read that when I was like, I don't know, 9, 10, 11, like little bitty baby. Got all four books, read them, played the video game, watched the movie that was kind of terrible, but whatever. Loved them. Like this, this was such a good book series. And then he just drops another one. So my 2024 plan is to reread the Aragon series, which kind of leads me into another 2024 plan, which is to reread all of Sarah J. Moss's books. I read Agatar like once a year. It's a comfort read at this point. Like I know exactly what's happening. I do find like that's it. But the third Crescent City comes out in end of January, beginning of February. And I kind of just want to reread all of them, like start and throw it a glass, read through it read Akatar, read Crescent City, get ready. So like, I want to do that. So that's a second reread. I, um, I kind of want to like, I don't know, maybe it's just like, I'm diving into the serotonins of my childhood. I kind of want to like reread all of the Tamora Pierce books, like Song of the Lioness and the, um, small night series and like the tricksters choice like all i kind of want to do that i don't know i just i don't know just want to reread a lot of series i also have so many things like i really want to read babel still it sounded so good and like 
I've got another book that I don't know what it's about, but I bought it because TikTok said it was great. And I was like, great, sign me up. Say less, I'm here. And like, I have to finish Outlander still. What am I doing? So yeah, I picked this up at Tarjay because we had to go to Target for something. And then I just perused the books to see if Iron Flame was there. And it was. And then I turned around and saw this. And I was like, no, he's back. So, oh, this is a good dragon book series. This is a very good dragon book series if you want a dragon writer series. Also, like Rebecca Yarrow's, who's not riding a dragon with saddle? Have you seen a dragon? No skin, nothing. Oh, everyone's legless. Okay, all right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I am really enjoying the series, but oh, I just want to stroke every single person in that book. Okay, that, yeah, that is what I've been knitting. That is what I've been reading. Again, not really playing anything, just sort of surthriving, if you will. But Advents are out. Vlogmas is happening. We are doing Vlogmas. I'm going to try and record the opening today, I think, because I'm just super excited about it. We've got a lot of Advents to open this year, so stay tuned for that. <sighs> yes. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, I greatly appreciate it. If you want to support us, feel free to subscribe. Our goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers, hopefully by the end of the year, if not very soon. Uh, you can also support us over on Patreon, where you get extra weekly chats, early access to clubs, behind the scenes, and very soon voting on update themes. You can find all of my hand-dyed yarn at Plies and Hellhounds, and I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.